Which job board is best? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm going to test out six different job boards and show you the results. Hey everybody, it's Brian from A Life After Layoff and today I'm super excited to bring you this video. This is a good old fashioned job board shootout. In this video, I'm gonna test out six different job boards and we're gonna find out which ones have the best results and which ones are worth you spending your time on. Now this is not a sponsored video, so I'm not getting compensated by any of these job boards to make this video. So this is a completely unbiased look at which job boards have the highest quality roles and have the best job opportunities on them. So here's the criteria. I'm gonna look at the number of postings in the past week for both an hourly position and a salaried position. Now the hourly position, we're just gonna do a common warehouse associate and the salary position, I'm gonna do a software engineer. Then we're gonna measure the quality of the job. So how do I define the quality of the job? Now this one's really subjective, so it's really kind of hard to measure that. So I'm gonna define it as any position that I deem to be relatively trustworthy or well-known. And I'm gonna eliminate any of those spammy opportunities. I'm also gonna count the total number of positions in the past week, and then I'm also going to assess the functionality itself of the website, the ease of use, the user interface, the amount of features that it has, how robust it is. So it's gonna be a pretty simple checkbox, and at the end, we should have a clear-cut winner. It's also worth mentioning that I'm not gonna be focusing on any niche sites like dice.com for software developers. For the sake of fairness, I'm gonna just focus on generic or general job boards. So here's the job boards that we're gonna to cover today. First, we're gonna look at Career Builder. We're also gonna look at monster.com. Then we're gonna look at Indeed. Then, of course, LinkedIn then ZipRecruiter, and then the one bonus. So without further ado, let's head over and start looking for some jobs. All right, so starting off with CareerBuilder. Now, the reason why I chose CareerBuilder and I also chose Monster.com is really two reasons. The first one is 15 years ago, CareerBuilder and Monster were the two biggest job boards on the planet. And if you ran any ads at all, it was almost certainly gonna be on Monster or CareerBuilder. Since then, a bunch of other job boards have popped up. And in fact, some of the ones we're gonna be talking about here in a minute. Now, the reason why I wanted to put these two in here is, is I wanna see how they stack up over time. Are they still relevant? So it'll be a good, uh, a good test here. Anyway, so let's take a look at the overall website. Um, looks like a pretty clean design. Looks like they've got some sort of an app that you can download. And looks like some blog articles. And let's see, it looks like you can upload a resume. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off with the hourly position. And let's, we're gonna search for warehouse associate and we're gonna do a mid-size city. I don't wanna do too big of a city. I don't wanna do too small of a city. I wanna do just choose a mid-size city because I think that'll give us, give us a good sample size for how powerful it is. Because normally what we would notice in a big city, obviously you're gonna have a lot more people, there's gonna be a lot more job postings, but in that mid-size city, is where it could be a little bit more tricky trying to get enough candidates. So I'm gonna do it on the reverse side and see how many companies are actually putting a job ads on. So let's choose Knoxville as our, as our sample city. So we're gonna see what a warehouse associate in Knoxville looks like and let's go ahead and hit the search. All right, so let's see if we can search by date. Well, let's see, okay, here we go. Let's do the last seven days on the job posting. Okay, so I don't love how it's not easy to search by the dates. See, it's like day one, uh, four days ago, seven days ago, six days ago. They're kind of all out of order. I would rather see all in order from the most recent to the least recent. All right, so it does look like there are 19 warehouse associate jobs in Knoxville currently in the last seven days. Um, ADECO is a staffing agency, I would say. I mean, they're they're reputable. They're basically outplacement, and, and that type of job is pretty common to be outplaced. Um, staff mark, same. Our resource manufacturing, same. There's hardly any direct hires here. Uh, so we've got Penske. Um, LK, um, LKQ Corp seems okay. Accounts receivable specialist, which is not a, um, a warehouse associate and a data scientist. So there is some results that don't seem to be very very aligned to my warehouse associates. So I'm actually just gonna say that there are 13 opportunities for this one. All right, so now let's go over to the salaried side and check out Software Engineer. And again, let's go to date 
posted. Let's go to seven. And we can already see there's 12 software engineering jobs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. These are all different positions. We're gonna skip two of those, so it's, there's 10. Okay, so for the functionality, I'm gonna rate it on a scale of one to five, five being the most functional, the one being the least functional, and the same thing goes for quality of the job, five being very reputable jobs, uh, and one being not reputable jobs, or a lot of contract, or a lot of temporary, a lot of part-time, um, a lot of kind of a filler jobs. Um, I'm gonna give uh, functionality, I'm gonna give it, it's, it was fairly functional, I didn't like that you couldn't um, really sort by date, but again, this is a really quick look. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Quality of the job, I, I can't say I was super impressed, really relatively low amount of jobs, and I would say a lot of temporary agencies and a lot of kind of lower quality positions, so I'm gonna give it just a two out of, uh, out of five. And then to get the final rating, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add each one of these numbers together. Okay, so the next one is monster.com, which is the other big boy. Looks like they got rid of their little monster logo, so now it's still the purple motif, but um, nice and clean website, looks pretty modern. Um, also have an app. Nice thing is they also have some salary tools that you can maybe check out and then career advice, so that's, that's kinda cool. Uh, and then you can upload a resume and be discovered on those databases. I haven't been with a company that has paid for the databases in, in a little while, so, um, but it, it can't hurt to throw it up there. All right, so let's do the hourly to start with. So warehouse, associate, all right, so Already it's saying hundreds of jobs found, so let's see if we can bring that down to a more manageable level. Okay, where are my dates? Okay, so how do I search by date? Okay, <laughs> first of all, that's a little strange. Um, I can't search by dates, so we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Let's just do our best. We've got one, two, three, it looks like these are both the same job but different locations, so three, uh, four, Randstad is a, a staffing agency, so five, also two different positions. Um, then we got 10 days, I'm not gonna include that one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Um, then we've got Home Depot six. So I think I'm just gonna say 12, because now it's starting to show unavailable <laughs> Tahoe. Like, why is it showing Tahoe? These are just the same. So I'm gonna say 12. Yeah, these are, this is not very impressive. All right, so let's look at software engineers. So here we have uh, tech systems. Okay, one, two, three. I'm seeing a lot of agencies. Four, five, six, um, uh, the FBI, even though it's four days ago, FBI is all cities, all states, so I'm not gonna count that one. Um, so that'd be seven. Um, cause seven days ago, seven, um, eight, and it looks like we're getting, okay, so I'm gonna say 39, um, which actually is pretty respectable. Okay, so um, functionality, I'm gonna give this a one out of uh, out of five because I didn't like how they, how the sorting was. I didn't like that there was no uh, ability to filter by date. I didn't like that there was no confirmed uh, location. Um, okay, quality of the job, I would say there's actually some pretty decent ones in there. Um, certainly better than career builder. So I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna say three out of out of 10. Actually, I might even put this, eh, I'm gonna say three out of 10 because there was a bunch of uh, contract uh, companies in the beginning. Um, we said 12 hourly and then there was 39. So I'm pretty respectable. So let's do the tally up on that. And they come in with a 55. All right, so next up is Indeed. So Indeed is known more for I would say probably hourly positions than salaried. So if you're somebody that is generally looking at hourly or blue collar roles, Indeed is probably going to be your go-to. And that's where from a recruiting perspective, if I am looking for hourly workers, I would typically go and put something on Indeed and employers will use Indeed quite a bit because it's actually free to post. You can do as a free to post option, so you'll see a lot more opportunities now. That means that there's also a lot more stuff you probably have to sift through, um, but the point being that um, there is probably a lot more job opportunities. So I'm gonna expect to see more job opportunities on Indeed, in particular for the hourly side of things. Um, maybe for salaried as well, just because of that free, the, the, the free posting option, but certainly for the hourly. So let's see what we get. 
Okay, so um, impressions of the website, obviously if you've, if you've been on an Indeed, it's pretty easy, self-explanatory to use. Um, I do like that they've got a lot of filters at the top so you can really drill down fairly decently. Um, probably not to the to the degree of some of the other sites that we'll be looking at, but uh, in general, I think that you can get a lot of pretty, very narrow down search. So for our sake, we are going to go to date posted, seven days, feel free to play the parameters, but let's see what we've got. Now it's already showing 191 uh, jobs and I'm seeing FedEx, I'm seeing uh, Noni's where, uh, Warehouse Group, I'm seeing um, no, uh, Owens and Miner, um, Capstone Logistics, uh, Flying J, um, let's see, Cabinets to Go, here's that, obviously, here's that resource management, they seem to be everywhere. Um, Cisco, uh, we've got general, uh, general staffing, a few staffing groups, Manpower, kind of your kind of usual, uh, Cardinal Health, uh, Kroger, Coca-Cola. I mean, so we're seeing a lot more decent quality employers than we did on the other uh, websites. So, so far, so good. And we are um, easily going to hit 50. And I'm going to cap it at 50 because I feel like over 50, then it's... Um, it, it's just kind of piling on at that point in time, but you know, bed, the bed store, Monaco Industries, Home Depot, um, uh, Ferguson, uh, CVS Health. Um, again, there's another FedEx, probably a different location. Yeah, I mean, there's easily, there's easily well over, um, 50. Um, as far as how they sort, I don't like how they sort the three days, six days. It kind of jumps around one day, five days. So it's all over. Now, I wonder if we can sort by, let's see, sort by date. Um, oh, perfect. So it goes in actually in order. So thank you indeed. Um, Monster take note, uh, career builder take note. That is a functionality that is very simple to add and it really makes a lot better user experience. Um, so, so far, so good. I think that um, we're, we're seeing some of the best clearly the best to date of uh, for hourly positions. Um, let's see if we see get the same results for our software engineer. Okay, software engineer is showing uh, one of 226. So let's actually sort by the date and see how many are actually truly legit. Already we're seeing some better quality ones. We've got General Motors, um, this bigger group. Um, it looks like a, I, I wouldn't count these. It looks maybe it's remote and it's some generic company, so I wouldn't count those. Okay, uh, again, General Motors. So we're seeing some overlap. Uh, Iacorp, um, I wouldn't count the freelance positions for solar. I mean, uh, honestly, in Shopify, I mean, honestly, Indeed is, 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 is pretty impressive. All right, so we're coming in at 30 positions for Indeed on the salaried side. So very respectable, actually better than I expected for the salaried. All right, so Indeed coming in pretty strong, honestly. So for functionality, I like the fact that you can search by a lot more parameters. It's easy to find all the filters right on top. Um, I'm going to give their functionality a four out of five. Uh, the quality of the job uh, honestly wasn't that bad, on, especially on uh, actually on both sides. So I'm going to give it... Um, surprisingly, actually, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of a little bit surprised. I'm going to give it a four. Um, hourly, we said there was 50 good ones, and for salary, I think we came up with 30 for a very respectable 88. All right, so next up we have LinkedIn. Let's look at the same thing. Warehouse associate, Knoxville, Tennessee, and I'm expecting LinkedIn to come in as a stronger on the salaried side than the hourly side, just like I expected Indeed to do the kind of the reverse. So let's go ahead and see what we've got. All right, so it's showing 53 results. Let's see how many of those are not legit. Um, so I'm seeing a UPS. Um, again, we're seeing resource manufacturing. They're a pretty big staffing company in this part of the world. There's a few new ones. The Saddle Creek Logistics. Owens & Miner is a well-known company. Um, US Foods is a big company. Um, let's take this one out, General Labor. So that's minus one, so I'd say 50. 51 or 52 public plastics floor and decor okay that, that's clearly not one so let's get rid of that that would be 51 okay now we're getting into administrative roles which are clearly have nothing to do with 
warehouse associate. So I'm gonna say there's 23 decent positions for warehouse associate for LinkedIn. Okay, so let's look at software engineer. Okay, let's do past week, show results and okay. Um, so we're gonna see, okay, so in the past week, it's showing a huge number of software engineers here. Um, so we're gonna try our best to try to keep it as local as possible, but let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we've got big companies, Siemens, six, seven, eight, nine, Clayton Homes, 10, uh, Discovery, 11, Arconic, which is Alcoa, uh, 12. They clearly have a ton. <laughs> it's like not even close on the salaried. So we're gonna go ahead and just give this the default 50 for the max. And um, the nice thing about LinkedIn is there are so many filters on here that you can really drill down on. I mean, if you look at all the different filters, there there's nobody even close to LinkedIn as far as the, uh, the ability to search very, very specifically for your skill set. So LinkedIn's functionality is easily a five. I think that they're best in class. There's nobody really else that is even close to them. Uh, for quality job, I'm gonna give it a five as well. There are so many software jobs uh, out there and a lot higher quality. Uh, I think you're seeing a lot better brand names as well than some of the other job boards. So I'm gonna give that a five. Um, hourly, it's not gonna be as strong as Indeed, which is to be expected, so 23. And then I'm gonna give the salary to 50. Um, it's honestly, it's it's so weighted heavily there that I honestly think it, you could probably even give it a higher than, but I'm gonna try to keep, be consistent and fair. All right, so let's total them up and that gives us an 83. All right, on to ZipRecruiter. All right, so let's talk about the ZipRecruiter and ZipRecruiter is probably one of the more recent job boards to pop up that became popular. So let's take a look at what they've got as far as search results for uh, warehouse associate in Knoxville. All right, so my first impression of ZipRecruiter is that um, this is a very simple layout, which I can appreciate. And all of my search parameters are up top. Um, it's not as robust as LinkedIn. Um, however, let's see if we can search by, see if the dates come back any cleaner. All right, so I can't, can't search by seven days, so we'll do 10 and then just take off the bottom three. Okay, so here's the search results. The first thing that I'm noticing on ZipRecruiter is that there's not actually a date of posting, which is kind of annoying because now I can't tell how old the job is other than if it has this new. I'm assuming that everything's gonna come for 10 days, but as we saw on some of the other job boards, we can't always trust that. So let's just take a quick look and see, we'll, we'll make our best educated guess. And the other thing that I'm noticing about ZipRecruiter is there's a lot of the same um, resource manufacturing and a few of the other, these are a lot of agency jobs and it looks like they're also the same ones um, that were on Career Builder. So not a whole lot of difference so far. So one, two, three, it, it, it's not giving me the cleanest results. So I'm just gonna say 18. All right, so now let's look at uh, software engineer. Now it's showing 58. Again, the same thing. We're uh, searching by within 10 days. I'm assuming that these are all within 10 days. So we're just gonna have to use our best educated guess. And let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four, five. So we're still seeing some a little bit higher. We've got Arconic and the CGI group. Um, let's see, six, six. I don't know what that is. Seven. So there's some non matching jobs pulling up in software. Um, let's see, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, so there's only 14. I'm not gonna count these because it's getting uh, not very clean. So I'm not super impressed with ZipRecruiter, to be honest with you, um, with the job search. Okay, so ZipRecruiter's functionality, I'm gonna give it, since it doesn't have any dates, I'm gonna give it, honestly, just a two um, out of 10. Uh, quality of the job, I'm gonna say it's pretty bad. Um, it's right there with Career Builder, I don't think it's any better. I think, what did we say, there was 18. All right, so the last one I'm gonna show you is something that people don't even realize you can do is, is Google. It actually has a really robust job search feature. And I'm gonna walk you through that. We're gonna do the same exact experiments. But this time, all we do is we go to the Google browser and we just type in warehouse associate jobs, Knoxville, Tennessee. And then if you see right here, um, you scroll down just a hair, it just says Knoxville, um, and then we can search by well, look at this, it's got, uh, it pulls up um, everything in the past week. 
And the nice thing about the Google job search is it actually is pulling from a bunch of different places, LinkedIn, Adeco, Job Searcher, all that, it basically scrapes all these different job boards. So let's see how it stacks up with the other job boards. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, all right, so it's clearly the best results for the warehouse associates. So let's go over and look at the software engineer and we'll do the same thing. All right, so let's look at, and let's see how we want to sort this. We have date posted. Let's go ahead and look at the past week. Um, the nice thing about it is they give you a ton of different per parameters that you can do. Um, and let's go ahead and I think we're just gonna go just do a basic search, but this should be for a week. So let's see what we've got and see we're pulling in from LinkedIn, a lot of um, from all jobs, um, a bunch of different job boards. So let's just see what we've got. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. See snag a job, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, electronic arts, uh, 18, looks pulling from dice. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. All right, so we're clearly over 50 for this as well. And it's giving you all the high quality jobs, JP Morgan Chase, you've got Discovery. I mean, you've got all the, the uh, pr uh, premier companies in the area, KPMG. Um, it's pulling some of the best quality. So in my opinion, this one has come in very, very strong. All right, so let's go ahead and rate Google. So from a functionality perspective, it's easily a five. It's uh, among the, it's, uh, I think only LinkedIn is better than it. Um, quality of job is easily the best. Um, five uh, rivaling LinkedIn for the hour uh, for salaried side and um, as good as as indeed if not better uh, for hourly um, so 50 for each one of these clearly um, I stopped counting so probably go way higher than that um, so that's going to give us a hundred and ten okay so if we look at the job board shootout results it's very clear who the winners are if I'm an hourly person I'm gonna be spending most of my time on indeed and Google. I might dabble a little bit in LinkedIn, but primarily I'm gonna be on those first two. I don't think it's even worth bothering with the career builder monster and zip recruiters, to be honest with you. I don't think the quality of the job is warranting your time going in and even bothering with those sites. For the salaried side, easily Google is the best one, followed by LinkedIn. So I'd say those are the two primary ones that I would be focusing my energies on. The other added benefit for Google is, because it's a search engine, I can actually find you as a recruiter using Boolean search offline. That means if you have a simple website, I can also find you based on keyword searching on the back end. So that makes Google an even better option. Most people don't know that Google is one of the most robust job search tools out there, and it's a highly effective way to find a job. If you're putting application after application in and you're just not getting any results, it's actually something that I specialize in. I do have a website called alifeafterlayoff.com and it's loaded with tips and tricks all from an insider's perspective. And I share my deepest and most intimate recruiting knowledge in the form of a couple of training courses. The first one is resume rocket fuel. So if you're applying for all these jobs and you're not getting any good responses, it's almost always a resume issue. And resume rocket fuel teaches you exactly how to write a resume that's gonna give you a better chance of getting that first round interview. Once you get that first round interview, it's up to you to sell yourself throughout the rest of the process so that you can land that dream job. And that's where the ultimate job seeker bootcamp comes in. So if you're struggling in your job search, I highly suggest that you check them out. If you found value in this video, I sure would appreciate that thumbs up because that really does help the channel grow. It helps me continue bringing you great quality content. Hey, appreciate you watching. Hopefully you found some value in this video. Happy job hunting on Google, LinkedIn, and Indeed, and we'll see you on the next one.